Hello, everybody. How are you? It is uh, Monday night. I am home from work. I've had a little dinner, and I'm going to spend a little time out in the shop. I have a special project I'm working on over here, and I got some new tools. I want to show you, uh, well, not really tools, but new supplies for the shop. I want to show you guys what uh, what I picked up today. Technically, I didn't pick it up today. It had to be shipped to me, but the other day I was looking for a zero clearance insert, and a couple of you guys sent me a link to a place, and this is the zero clearance insert for my table saw. I just need to go ahead and, you know, make the cut in it. Uh, I'm not going to attempt to do that tonight. I want to take my time, you know, read the instructions, do it right. Um, so I'm excited about having that. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. I also picked up a pack of 10. These are uh, 6 inch by 48 inch by 100 grit sanding belts. And I broke my belt. It just blew up on me one day. Uh, I have needed some for a while. And I finally broke down and got me a pack of 10. I picked up this awesome Timberwolf, Timberwolf blade uh, for my bandsaw. The, the bandsaw blade I've been using is starting to get a little bit dull, and I was needing a new one. And lastly, I picked this up. Now, the other day I was turning a pin, and I drilled a hole. Actually, it was the ornaments I was making. And I drilled a hole with my 7mm bit, and I just was not happy. It just seemed like I really had to fight the bit through the, uh, the acrylic. And so I ended up throwing the bit away. I thought, man, there's got to be something wrong with it. So I picked up this. This is called a uh, fish, and it's it's a pin drill, 7 millimeter. There's a little information on it. You can pause the video and read that if you like. Uh, but I bought one of these, so hopefully that helps me out quite a bit. Talked a little bit to you guys about a special project. We have some family friends, and I don't take commissions on a general basis, but this was kind of, you know, this is something I kind of uh, wanted to do for them. They had an old barn, been in the family for well over 100 years, and the wind got to it, you know, and just blew down. So I got a piece of the barn and uh, going to make some pins for the family. Now, the, the, the mom of the family is the one who arranged this with me. She's going to do it for her family. The husband doesn't know it. The kids don't know it. You know, no one knows it. But we're just going to go ahead and uh, get started on this. And, and this wood has been outside, and I can feel it. It's, a, it's, it's not wet, but it's a little damp. So what I'm going to do is figure out about what I need. And I'm going to get it cut off. And then I'm going to get this uh, toaster oven back out. And I'm going to weigh the wood. And I'm going to cook the wood. And continually weigh it, cook it, weigh it, cook it. Until it stops losing weight. Then I know that the moisture is gone from the wood. And uh, we'll be able to start drilling it and turning pins out of it. I tried to sell this toaster oven a while back. And I'm really happy that the deal did not go through on it. Because it's coming in super handy. Got my blanks all weighed up, and I am basically uh, running them in the toaster oven at 150 degrees for about 30 minutes. We'll take them out and reweigh them. I've moved over to my lathe, and I'm going to turn the lower half of my starboard pin kit. This is the replacement Masseur Birch blank. I hope to finish this up tonight and uh, probably call it a night. Just to let you guys know, I had a lot of inquiries about my blanks. Uh, I've sold a few of them, so if you're interested, you might want to give me a shout. I'll once again put my email address in the description for this video and uh, let me know if you need a new chaos blank or if you need one of those. Just finished putting CA on this blank. This one's turning out real nice, but the timer went off and I got to get back over here, get these blanks out of this oven and get them weighed up and see if there was any change. Here's the Masseur Birch blank. Not the best angle there. Let me see if I can get some more light on it. Take a look at that. Holy mackerel. Isn't that beautiful? Not going to get to put it in a kit tonight, but uh, hopefully next time I come out to the shop, we can make that happen. I've had a great couple of hours in the shop. I'm going to shut down. I still have the oven running. There's probably about 20 minutes left uh, before this uh, particular uh, group of blanks is complete. I'm going to go in the house, work on this video. I'll come back out. Matter of fact, I'm going to look and see how much time is left. I'll come back out, weigh the blanks. They'll sit overnight. Actually, I think what I'll do is just let it kick off, uh, and then I'll weigh them tomorrow or the next time I come to the shop before I give them another round of heat uh, because they may absorb a little bit of moisture too since I let them sit overnight. So, uh, But I'll leave them in the oven. So that's it for me, guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. I truly appreciate it. Have a great evening, and I'll see you again as soon as I can get back out in this shop.